I was a math major. I'm the son of a scientist. That was in my blood. Eventually, I, I transferred to Hopkins because there was a drama program, and I could learn a little more about it as I continued my math major. And uh, after one semester, I changed to a drama major. And uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm one of a, it's a rare group. I, uh, there are not too many people uh, uh, left this campus with a degree in drama. I, I hope we change that. Uh, so I think you guys understand. In 2000, John Irwin called me and said, how would you like to teach a, a, a workshop in the writing seminars, an acting and directing workshop? And I said, uh, okay. And there were a great many students who tried out, and I knew that there were too many for one class. And so I decided to teach in a number of sections that first semester. What the students taught me, and that's really the most important thing, Coming here to teach, I was of the opinion that an actor was either talent or untalented. There were a few people who were able to act, and the rest would never learn. But because I had so many students, I had to try to teach them all. And darned if they didn't show me that acting really can be taught. Uh, that was a revelation to me. So I set fire to the beds, and the old witch house went up in a roar of flame. Part of really good acting is to probe into the heart and soul of a human being and see it there on the stage uh, and feel it uh, and live with it. And as we teach acting here, we learn something about ourselves first. We learn how to talk to someone else. And we learn how to listen to someone else. We're teaching as many courses as we would need for a major. We're doing this not just to make a living. We're doing it because we believe in the theater process. How do you become happy? How do you become happy? And how do you learn more about what it is to be a human being? And uh, that's one of the things, just one of the things that theater can do.